Hello, Stamati here from Redware. We're going to look at drawing a sprite and a backdrop in Scratch 3.0. Um, it's quite a long video. You'll probably uh, come back and look at this several times, I expect. So uh, the backdrop is the background of the screen. And over here on the right, you can choose a backdrop. There's plenty of uh, existing ones that you can pick uh, from scratch. Same with the sprites. Uh, but if you choose this paint option, you can create your own. So we're going to choose the backdrop. We're going to choose the paint and we're going to get the drawing uh, program up here. Now you can see we've got three costumes. One, two, three. We can delete this top one uh, and just stick with this second one. So the important thing to realize when you draw an object is that it's an object. Um, so Scratch is remembering behind the scenes the color and the width and so on. You know, you need this select arrow tool to select it again and select it like that. So each uh, object has a fill, so you can set a color. You can change, and you, when you select it, you can change the color again. You know, it, it's not, uh, it will let you change it. You've got also the outline, which is the color of uh, the sort of outline, and you have the width of the outline. If you don't want an outline at all, you can click on this red button here. And if you want to be able to uh, pick an existing color, you can use this pipette to um, set, uh, pick an existing color. So remember, the important thing here is that the select tool here will let you pick an object. And then when you've picked it, uh, it has these blobs. If you pick a diagonal blob, it will just make it bigger. If you pick one of these uh, blobs, you can just change the shape. And if you, if you, you can rotate it with the uh, rotating um, bit. Now the reshape tool is interesting. So that's this tool here. So you can highlight uh, your object with the select, then pick the reshape, and then you can click and create a new blob in there, and you can drag the blob up uh, to change the shape. Now the shape can be curved or pointed. If it's curved, you have this uh, thing that you can move around. If it's pointed, it's pointed. And if you create one again that you don't want, just press the delete button. Highlight it, press the delete button, and that'll get rid of it for you. Uh, you can drag objects over each other like this. Uh, you can send them to the back or send them to the front with the forward and backwards or the front and back uh, items. Now, the uh, line uh, lets you draw a line again. You can select that line and you can change uh, the, the colors and the, the width. And you can also uh, reshape it. Uh, and if you don't like it, you can delete it. Uh, similarly, you've got a, a brush here that you can draw um, shapes with. Uh, you've got a fill where you can fill fill items there, and you've got a text where you can type. Uh, so remember, you've got the select arrow, which will let you select an item you've already done and make it bigger, rearrange it, and so on. Now, if you've made a mistake, the left arrow here will undo. So you can undo or redo uh, what you've done. You can copy an item, so like so, and also, you can group items together. So you would uh, use your arrow key there to highlight them. You can group them, and then you can uh, move them around together. You can copy them and paste. 
and then you can ungroup them sometimes. And uh, you can flip them around. And that's just about it. At the end, I don't know why you'd want to, you can convert it to a bitmap, which would stop these objects working. Um, otherwise, there's your backdrop. We're going to kill this backdrop off. So that's our, our backdrop. It's exactly the same with a sprite. You can select a sprite. We can delete this sprite, for example. And we can create a new sprite with the paint. And then uh, we can draw a sprite. And of course, the difference with the sprites are here, you can change the size of a sprite. And you can move the sprite around the screen. And we can pro program it. So um, that's your drawing. Uh, if you've already got a backdrop, um, you can edit it by highlighting it and making sure that you've selected the backdrops. Or if it's a sprite, you can highlight it, make sure you've edited, you're editing the costumes. So that's drawing uh, a sprite or a backdrop in Scratch 3.0.